Still in amazement from Valley of Fire State Park, we headed to Cedar City, Utah. There we would spend the night and head to Great Basin National Park to visit Lehman's Cave. Great Basin National Park is out in the middle of nowhere and lodging is difficult to find. I debated whether or not to visit, but I'm glad we did. I made it back to Matt's off-road recovery. Except they got a gift shop. Roll back and blue steel. Highway 21 from Cedar City, Utah to Baker, Nevada has to be the longest, straightest road I've ever been on. Even at 70 miles per hour, it took forever to cross the plains. The crosswinds howled, and I felt as though I was playing dodgeball with the tumbleweeds. Cows and frequent dust storms added to the excitement. So this is Great Basin National Park. We're at Layman Cave Visitor Center. Snowing. It's a sharp contrast from yesterday. 80 degrees in shorts. So we got the tour of the cave, which starts at three. So we're gonna go right around for a little bit. See what's out here. I'm getting hungry. There was nothing in there to eat, was there? Mm -hmm. I didn't bring any boots for this. My shoes are waterproof, but the snow is pretty deep. They got the road closed, so I can't go any further. Just wanted to kind of hike up here and see. I can catch a view on this lovely cloudy snowy day Did not dress for this. There's a river down there. I got 
make sure I, I need to get off this edge. These rocks may be slick. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're grippy. Definitely was not anticipating this. This is Gray Cliffs, Cold Canyon. That's pretty fun. Neat little area. Yeah, there's a movie we can go watch. I thought that's what that was. Thank you. Oh, we came in as kind of a time tunnel. We're now standing in an area that dates back about 550 million years. Um, you've heard of the continental drift. Well, this part of the continent was. <clears throat> But I want you to look at how skinny it gets on the sides as we go along. And imagine crawling through on your belly um, to be able to get into this next little cave. You'll also be able to see some of that ancient seafloor and the way that the material is stacked up um, in these layers. Something like a straw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. structure I've seen in probably 20 miles.
the name of this place, Rusty's Ranch House. I wasn't expecting this last night. And this morning it snowed on us. We was gonna go kayaking today at Quill Creek State Park. I guess that'll happen. This is Quail Creek State Park in Utah. I guess they want to come back. I'll leave them be. <laughs> All right. Nice beach area, playground, pretty big campground. Nice views. It's kind of cold though. It's piled up here. Dang. It's a reservoir conservation area. At the Red Cliffs Recreation Area. Not exactly sure what's up here, other than maybe some trails and hiking trails seems a couple of bikers so we're just killing some time Let's see what we can find dinosaurs pass this way Okay, this is Sand Hollow State Park. It's right outside of St. George. It's beautiful.
So it's Sunday. There's not a lot of people here. Surprisingly, it is in the March. It's pretty cool. Wind's blowing. But sounds like there's some people. You can ride all that up through there. There's trails everywhere around here. I guess the lake um, is big enough to have boats. Because we've seen jet ski rentals and boat rentals here so it's a really neat place As we traveled up and down I-15, we kept seeing the snow-capped mountains. On a whim, we decided to head up Highway 56 for a better view. We drove forever, but it seemed like we could not get any closer. This is Pine Valley Wilderness Area. Mount Baldy, Big Point, Flat Top, and Timber Mountain add a dramatic touch to this high desert area. 